What we want to do is we want to hold the leather down here first, which is at the narrowest part where your hand can go across. Make sure there's enough over the front, make sure it's central, and enough over the back. So to do this, put that across the front, put a tack in, put the tack in, do the same on the other side. Just put one in there. Then make sure you're going off across the front and across the back. Should be okay. Next part you want to do, you want to put a cut about an inch, not above the wood, and same on the other side. Having done that, you want to get your leather, pull it back, bring it down, and put a tack in dead centre. After you do that, get your leather, pull it round like so, hold that one down there, bring that one across, and down, and put a tack into it. Repeat the same on the other side, bring it down, pull it across, take all your excess out with your hand, bring it across, and again put a tack in there and pause. Then what you want to do, once that's down, you take the most of it out here, get a little pull on the front using your bulldogs. Put your bulldogs on, use the hinge lever, again pull the excess across with your hand, and you see it pull in there. The trick here is to get your thumb, slide it down, use your thumb to hold, put it back in, and use the back of your bulldogs, or pick up your hammer, and do it there. Next one, one up the front, again, pull it all over, one there, and again, pull it down. do this until you get up to where you want your skirts to end. That'll do that side. Go to the other side, turn it round, same again, get a bit over, pull, exact same here. You'll note I'm still sliding my thumb over and what I'm doing is I'm holding it, picking up the tack, and turn my bulldogs out, give it a tap. Next part of the job is to pull the front. Just check it's all okay. Take out the tack you have here, and the same on the other side. Take the tack out. You want to put some cuts in the leather. What this will do is when you're pulling it, it'll ease it over. Do the same on the other side. Get your bulldogs, you see all these wrinkles, pull out, pull it across the front, use your hand at the back here to pull it, hold, lift it up again holding with my thumb, put the tack in and tap. Same on this side, get your bulldogs, and what I'm doing, pulling it forward and hold and put a tack in and then after that you can put take that out then what you want to do is just pull down pull over again using your thumb again down there use the bulldogs in the edge of it just to give you that piece over keep pulling it on all the way down that one. Spin it around. Just some of the tacks that came out, don't bother about that. Just get it again. And using that, pull it over. There you go. All I'm doing is walking to the front. 
see that starting to come on nice now. I'll just pull these pieces down here. And you can see what I'm doing. Pull that. And down. And another one in just to make sure. Don't send your tacks all the way home because you're going to have to take the tacks out later on. We get a pull on the front. Last one. If you can get a pull there, what you can do, get all the excess, slide it all forward, hold it down, get a tack, and the same for that last pull. Get it down as much as you can and get it as tight as you can without distorting the shape of the foam. Same on this side here. Just move out of the way. Bring all the excess across, just squeeze it across, hold down, get it tack, and down. Put another little one in there. Nope, that'll do it. For this piece here, what you want to do is you don't want to come above the wood. Just put a little nick in there, and there. And you'll see I'm still underneath. What that does is gives you a tab. Get your tab, pull your tab, hold it, get a tack, and tack in. That's that pulled on. The next thing you have to do, tidy up the back, and we'll end up with V's in the back. To do this, take the tack out, lift it all up, find your dead centre down the tree. You want a centre line all the way down the tree, that'll do that. Take that out there and pull that down there. Pull it really tight again, bringing the excess over. Got to tack into it. If you divide these bits up, then you'll end up with your V's. Just give that a little pull there. What you want to do is make sure these are all evened out. So I want that one there. Bring that one across, what I'll do is I'll bring the V the other way. Same with this one, bring that in. You cut these out a bit later on. Take all this excess out, just give that a little pull. And put a tack in there. Just have a look at it. It looks good. Pull that one to there. Have another look. A tack in. Pull that side. What you want to do here is check. Check the gap here, lines up all the way down there with your centre. And that looks fine to me. Get your next one. Oh. Pull that one. Attack in. You just want this to be above the, the metal plate that goes round the tree. I'll tack in there. This last piece here, just pull that out down below the tree. Tack in. Tack the looks. And then all you've got to do is a bit of tidying up, which is this piece here, just pull that out. Okay, you end up 
got four Vs, one, two, three, four. They should all line up with the centre. And um, we'll tidy these up a bit later on. And then what you end up is, that's the whole thing, pulled on. Looking a bit tidy, nice and tight. And what we'll do is we'll leave that to dry. When it dries, we'll come along, we'll put a skips on and we'll mark it out. While we're waiting for the seat to dry, this will take 24 hours to dry. So what we'll do is we'll make the pads up 